Hey guys, Justin here. So in the previous video, we talked about adding a custom mesh to our AI right here. So in this video, we are going to talk about adding custom animations to our AI. So some animations, such as the walking animation right here, will work out of the box as long as you have the proper animation blueprints set up. But some animations, such as the attack animations, may need some tweaking. So let's get started. So here, let's go to our Kajuchin animations. Here we can actually see that it already has an attack animation. So we're going to use this. So I'm going to right click that, create, create any montage. I'm going to name it am underscore attack. Let's open it up. So the way this works is for us, for the AI to deal damage, we need an animation notify. So I'm going to add an animation notify just about when it hits the sword. I'm going to add notify, new notify. I'm going to type in damage. Save that. Now let's open the animation blueprint for our character. So in here, in the animation blueprint, I'm going to right click and search for the damage notify that we just added right here. And this is where we will set up our attack uh, logic. So since our AI is a child of the BPNPC base, which is included in the toolkit, it already has a built in damage system. So we're going to use that. So I'm going to type try get pawn owner. I'm going to cast it to our NPC base. Then I'm going to call perform melee attack. If you open this up, so you can see it's actually the logic for doing melee attacks. All right. So just as we just we know that it actually does damage. I'm going to print a string right here. It says hit. And let's change the color so we can see it better. Hit compile and save. All right, so now let's go to our AI set up here, BP NPC testing. So let's click on the behavior component down here in the attack settings, melee. Let's add in our animation. So AM attack. And then target tag is set to player. Let's set the attack melee distance to about 150. Seems good. Now in the idle behavior config, I'm going to add a delay trigger that will call our melee attack behavior. So two seconds and then attack melee. Hit compile and save. And now uh, let's make sure that our player character actually has the player tag, which is the target of the attack melee. I'm going to search tag. All right, so you can see here has a tag of player. All right. So uh, one more thing. We need to actually hook up another. Where is that? Another one in the animation blueprint to make sure that the animation montage actually plays. I have to type in default slot. So this is the slot assigned by default to our to our animontage right here as you can see here default slot so we have to hook that up here so that it actually plays the montage all right so now let's hit play after two seconds it should attack oops uh, I think we have to replace it back in Sometimes this happens, the the changes don't apply to our actors, I don't know why, maybe it's in the editor. So if we replace that, it should 
be good to go. See? So now it attacks every two seconds. As you can see in the left corner, it has the hit print. So we know that it's actually doing the damage dealing. So that's custom animations. Cheers, guys.